Many thanks to Joe Jaron, Daisy Podcast, Taggy's Tag West, Black Knight, and Lion Loss for making this video possible. Daisy 1.16 has given us something new with the very first patch of 2022, so to help you survive and not be a noob, here's 30 juicy tips to keep you clued. Dead infected will despawn after 6 minutes if no players are within 125 meters of the body. Infected, wolves and bears cannot attack you inside vehicles now, turning vehicles into steamrollers. The bear trap and landmine now do a lot more damage to the wheels of vehicles, but the bear trap must be run over to activate it. The bear trap can be used to kill solo infected very easily without getting hit once by setting it up twice. If you get attacked by a pack of wolves and have a bear trap, place a bear trap on the floor before they get to you because it kills wolves in one hit and takes 50 percent of a bear's health off making them much more useful in this patch alternatively if you're surrounded by wolves in a building you can now use the newly added alarm clock to distract them and they will soon forget about you another use for the alarm clock is to distract infected up to around 25 meters but the alarm clock will only activate for 60 seconds if you have a broken leg and you go into water you will constantly take shock damage now even while not moving resulting in unconsciousness while in water which is a guaranteed death in 20 seconds when making other players go unconscious with a gun they will now remain unconscious for around twice as long in this patch compared to last patch. The Bison SMG has been added that is similar in stats to the Scorpion but inflicts more damage and has more accuracy at the cost of a slower rate of fire. The flare gun cannot penetrate any surface in Daisy and because broken windows have an invisible surface on them you cannot shoot it through windows. You can now shoot through these garage doors, the doors on this house and the open doorway on the gas station building in this patch. This wooden house and this wooden house cannot be shot through now thankfully but the red house here that sounds like metal when you shoot it can still be shot through. You can no longer penetrate a gate or fence panel built by a player to destroy the frame behind it because destroying the frame deletes the panel on the front. However, even though you can place base building structures on more uneven terrain in this patch, be aware not to expose the frame underneath the panel to avoid your panels getting deleted by destroying the frame. It takes five of either grenade to destroy a wooden or metal panel in Daisy because grenades destroy the frames behind the panels, meaning that there's no difference between metal and wood when it comes to grenades. No amount of barbed wire or camo netting will protect your base from being infiltrated when it comes to health damage, but a platform of stairs will make it slightly harder to get into your base. Standing on a prone player's back while they're handcuffed means they cannot stand up and therefore cannot move at all, freezing them in place. However, they can still try and break the restraints they have, but you can punch them to stop the animation. Here is how long it takes to restrain somebody in Daisy. All of these are 3 seconds apart from rope. And here is how long it takes to struggle out of restraints in Daisy, so duct tape and rope are the weakest. Night vision goggles don't increase the time you are blinded by flashbangs and night or day doesn't make a difference when it comes to flashbangs either. Mushrooms give a huge amount of energy and hydration now making forests a very good place to get food. Water and energy drain at the same weight which is around two times faster when full compared to keeping your stats in the yellow. Combining this with how it takes over an hour to die of hunger or thirst means keeping your hunger stats low makes food last twice as long. However the higher your stats are the more immune you are to cholera, salmonella, influenza and the cold, making multivitamins much more useful. All of these items can now be turned into three rags each using a sharp tool. The first aid kit in bear can now be repaired with the sewing kit and the amber box protector case with the epoxy putty where duct tape plus two sticks now crashly split. Items inside tents become damaged when tents are damaged now but grenades still don't take damage inside inventories and all items that are inside a ruined tent will drop to the floor when the tent becomes ruined. Hovering over an item in your inventory and holding a number will assign it to the hotbar slot of that number. Bonus tab. If you reload an SKS during the cold animation, you can unlock a secret alternate animation called the backhanded side shuffler. Or if you really want to show off your reload skills, wait for the head wipe animation and treat them to the reverse overhead cowgirl. The intent of 1.16 was to bug fix and repair Daisy for the five patches coming this year, one of which will be addressing how vehicles are quite angry at the moment and adding a lot more new items and a lot more depth to the game with hints of a new weapon and stealth attack already in the game files which can be seen in one of my other videos here if you're curious. Alternatively you can see the plans the devs have for Daisy using this link below to their article about Daisy in 2022. Thank you very much for watching and good luck in the year ahead. Dizzy 1.16 has given us something new with the very first patch of 2022, so to help you survive and not be a noob, here's 20...